Understanding Attila the Hun, a phrase explored. Hello everyone and welcome to today's English learning video. We're going to dive into the fascinating world of historical phrases and their meanings in modern English. Today's topic is the phrase, Attila the Hun. Understanding such phrases not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insight into cultural references used in English. Let's get started. Before understanding the phrase, it's essential to know who Attila the Hun was. Attila was the ruler of the Huns from 434 until his death in 453. He is remembered as a fearsome and powerful leader who led his people to conquer large parts of Europe. Attila was known for his brutality, strategic military tactics, and his role in the eventual decline of the Roman Empire. In modern English, when someone is referred to as Attila the Hun, it implies that they are ruthless, aggressive, and uncompromising. This metaphorical use of the name signifies a person who is perceived as a tyrant or a harsh leader, often indifferent to the suffering of others while pursuing their goals. Now let's see how this phrase is used in everyday language. In a corporate setting, a boss who is very strict and demanding might be humorously compared to Attila the Hun. In a sports context, a coach who pushes their team very hard might be called Attila the Hun by the players. In politics, a leader who uses harsh methods might be likened to Attila the Hun by their critics. Remember, this phrase is often used exaggeratedly and humorously in casual conversations and should be understood in context. Understanding such phrases also gives us a glimpse into how historical figures and events are woven into modern language. They carry with them not just literal meanings but also the cultural and historical baggage. This is a perfect example of how language evolves and incorporates elements from various times and places. I hope this video helped you understand the meaning and usage of the phrase, Attila the Hun, in English. It's a fascinating journey to see how history influences our language today. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to practice using new phrases in your conversations for better retention. Happy learning!